Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing great today. We're going to be installing a program called Open4. Now, some people call it OpenIV. According to the developers, you can call it either way. You can say OpenIV, Open4. It really doesn't matter to them, but I like to call it Open4. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to call it Open4 because it was released the same year and the same month that GTA 4 was released. All right, let's hop onto the internet and we're going to download from the OpenIV website. It sounds more natural that way. Sorry, it just does. So anyway, we're going to download this. It's going to be a four 4.1 version as of the making of this video. Now I want to kind of point out something too that the website went down for over six or seven months. I do believe earlier this year and I do, I'm not sure really why I did that but I'm going to give you two alternate links. One of them is going to be a mirrored version uh, just in case it goes down again and also an offline version uh, just in case the website stops working in the future. So when you go to download this now your uh, web browser is going to freak out a little bit because it is an exe file. It is completely safe. I've been using this for over eight years and so whenever I download this it's going to give me a big flag up here because I'm using Google Chrome and it'll probably do the same thing with you if you're using Microsoft Edge or even Firefox so you're going to see it's an OIV file it's an exe file and so it's blocked and dangerous is what I'm saying because it's an exe file and your computer just doesn't know what you want it to do so I'm going to say the word keep at the very top right and you'll see this downloaded right there so I'm going to go ahead and open this and we're going to put this in English and we're going to say continue. If you want to read the uh, license agreement, feel free to do that and click on accept. And we're going to say continue. Now this right here is just the download to get it onto your computer. I would leave it as a default because I like to go as a desktop icon. So I'm going to go ahead and say continue. And then that's the download size. We're going to say yes. And then we're going to go ahead and close that out. Now this is just the installer that we have on our desktop at the moment. Now, before you install this program into your computer and into your main game directory, you have to realize this is for single player use only. If you want to mod your game and you also want to play online, look to the top right of your video. There is a video about how to make a copy of a clean version and then also have a modded copy and you can bounce back and forth. It's a pretty cool video. It doesn't have a lot of views because people don't really know about it, but check that out if that's something that you're interested in. Just make sure you have a clean copy first, but watch that video before you go mod your folder. So let's go ahead and install this. All right, let's go ahead and fire up Open 4. We're going to click on Windows. And then we need to find our installation folder. So sometimes it'll default right to where you have it installed. And that's a really nice thing because that's the default way. Now, if you want to know where your main game folder is, if you're really new to all this, look to the top right of your video again. I just did a uh, really small video, about three minutes long, roughly, on how to find your main game directory for Epic Games, Steam, and retail version. So be sure to check that out because I just updated that. And we're going to click on Browse. I'm going to find mine really fast here. So you can see my pathway is going to be completely different than yours. Yours may be on a completely different drive. So just realize that. And if you have a difficulty, once again, check out that video. It's about three minutes long. That's timestamped for uh, Steam, Epic, and retail versions. You don't really have to double click, just select the folder and you'll see right here at the bottom of your screen, it'll say select folder. And then it should turn green. If it doesn't turn green, then you do not have the right pathway where your GTA 5 is located at. We're going to go ahead and click on continue. And then right here, do not forget to back up your original files for editing. And that once again goes hand in hand with what I was saying about your original game folder. We're going to say continue. And that is how you install the Open4 program. Now, if you want to stick around for a couple more minutes uh, for some more useful tips and tricks with Open4, I can't teach you everything because the video would be way too long. But there is some valuable information about a mods folder, about adding to the favorites, and then also how to get to a certain pathway that I think you guys will find very useful. And that's coming up right now in the video. All right, well, you're still here, so that means you want to hear a little bit more information about Open4. So I'm going to, go ahead and close the program out first, okay? And then uh, what you want to do is pull up your main game directory. And once again, I've already went over that in a, a small video that you can go take a look at. We have the Open4 program installed. But we have no mods installed at all. You only want to work in the mods folder. And all I'm going to tell you to do is uh, create a mods folder if you don't already have one. I'm going to go to right click and new. If you have Windows 11, you could also go to new up here. But I'm just going to go right click. We're going to say new. We're going to call it mods, M-O-D-S. That's all you really need to know for that. And I don't want to go into too much detail because it'll make the video way too long. So I used to tell people to copy their entire update folder into the mods folder when I used to tell people how to install the Open4 program. It takes way too long. And look how big this is. This update folder right here is 55 gigabytes. Way too big. No reason to copy the entire thing. So I'll give you a couple of useful tips. Okay, let's fire up the Open4 program. And when we do that, we're going to click on Windows right here next to Grand Theft Auto 5. 
And uh, the very first thing you want to do before you mod anything in the game, uh, just so your cars spawn properly, your pets work, your graphics work, and your blood mods work, your sounds, all these things. A lot of people forget to do this, and that is the tools right up here at the very top of the menu. So if you go to tools, click on ASI manager, and you want to make sure all of these are installed. Right now, I have nothing installed. So you want to go ahead and go click on install ASI loader and click on install for open 4.asi. Now this one here is not 100% necessary, but I like to do it because I like to work with Rockstar Editor and it, it releases the boundaries whenever you're doing a lot of screen recording with the Rockstar Editor. So I like to go ahead and install that one as well. And I would advise you to do the same. We're gonna go ahead and close that out. Okay, some valuable information about Open 4. Now I'm gonna install a car into Open 4 and I'm not gonna go through too much detail because I already have a video, if you look to the top right, about how to install a uh, all the cars into GTA 5, the emergency lighting system, handling ID fixes to keep your car from flipping, and a bunch of other things. There's a lot of cool stuff on that video. Go, go check it out, guys. So what we wanna do is get this car into Open 4 and to save yourself a ton of disk space so you don't have to copy your entire update folder into the mods folder. So here's the trick. I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge this we're going to leave edit mode off leave it completely off come out of your mods folder go to your update folder everybody has that folder and go to time 64 dlc packs and these are all the dlc packs that the game calls on in order for your game to function correctly now you can pick any one of these but i uh, preferably i'm going to just show you how to do a car real fast and we're going to come down here to maybe patch day 28. the later the patch day the better but it doesn't always have to be the latest patch day to install a car so if you install a car you know maybe in patch day 24 maybe you're used to modding you know over a year ago that would work still perfectly fine but for the sake of argument i'm going to go ahead and get down to patch day 28 and I'm gonna click on DLC RPF. Now here's the trick, is uh, they, they were going ahead and warning me right here, which is fine. And I'm gonna say, do not show this message again and say close, because I already know about this message, because I'm gonna turn edit mode on. So watch this, we're gonna say yes, and we're gonna get a big old flag right here. And that's a good thing, because we don't wanna destroy or you know corrupt our game data, right? So now let's click on copy to mods folder. So what that did right there was just copy the vital elements of a pathway to get to your mods folder, but the, all the other files are still in your update folder that is outside your mods folder. Hopefully that makes sense. And so now we are inside our mods folder. If you look at the top and you'll see update times 64 DLC packs, patch day 28 DLC RPF. I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper. I'm gonna show you something really cool that you could do with open four. And I tell you, I love this thing. If you go to time 64, we're gonna go to levels. We're gonna go to GTA five we're going to go to vehicles now here's the thing about open four we don't have to have all these default cars in here either okay there's another quick pro tip number three i guess you know because i told you about the asi managers so this is the mods folder remember we don't need all these default cars we're going to go like this we're going to delete it out we're going to say yes i'm going to pull this back over here and now we're going to add this as a favorite look how big this pathway is look at this so let's go ahead and add it as a favorite first we're going to say add to favorites and here's another cool thing is you can name it anything you want. And I found adding it in all caps a little bit more eye appealing because you can find it a little bit easier. And so I'm going to say just like this car install here, patch day 28. See how uh, big that is. And so now let me show you, demonstrate this for you. Say if you're in your mods folder, you already just open up open four, you want to add a car in real fast. What you do, go to favorites and say car install here. Boom, it's right there. So really easy, right? And so then I would just kind of start pulling these. I'm not gonna go through all the details because I did that in uh, my video, this to the right. Now, one thing I was gonna tell you, one more thing about Open 4 is that some people have issues dragging and dropping just like I did right there, okay? Because they get the red circle with the line through it, even though edit mode is on. So another quick pro tip that you can take from this uh, little small tutorial is that if you click anywhere inside here, just click anywhere in the white or up here, doesn't matter. And now try to drag and drop this into open four program. And it should be able to transfer a little bit easier for you. Now, if that does not work, I'm gonna extract it to the desktop or you can just pull it to the desktop. And it makes pulling files from the desktop folders a lot easier than having to do it the other way around because you'll get that red circle with the line through it, even with edit mode on. So if you uh, go ahead and open up the folder now, it's gonna look like this. And then of course I can drag and drop till my heart's content into these files a lot easier. So if you're getting that red circle with the line through it, think about doing that. I'm gonna enlarge this one more time. And I'm gonna show you something, another cool thing. If you go to DLC packs right here, uh, we only have one DLC pack guys. You remember we only just did the pathway for the patch day 28. So that's all that the mods folder is feeding off of right now. 
my advice, you see that pathway right there, it's really small, right? But how easy is this? Go to favorite, go to add to favorites. And this is what I do. I say DLC packs here, it's like this and say add. It may seem small, but trust me, you're gonna be bouncing back and forth between these things. And you're gonna be thanking me later for these favorites that you now have the car install here and you can add another uh, car pack. Or if you need to get to a, another DLC pack, you can just click right there and you can keep adding on more DLC packs. If I go back to my car install and since it's a YFT file or a fragment object, I can click on these with a model viewer and you can see what they look like. You can move things around. For the model viewer, if it's going too fast for you, for example, if you're trying to scroll in and you can't quite get that adjustment, hold down your left control key and start zooming in a little bit. And you'll see that makes some fine tune adjustments and you can really zoom in on certain elements of say a vehicle or even a weapon. It really doesn't matter. Uh, just kind of giving you a, a brief demonstration on how to do the model viewer. And one more little tiny bonus tip, if you want to use this method, it's kind of a cool thing to do, I think it is, is if you download a file that you know you're gonna be installing into the Open4 program, if you download it, uh, they may not have icons that look like this. I found it to be kind of useful uh, because uh, these are files that belong to Open4 technically, and they may look like white little folders. If you right click and just say open with, if you go to, uh, you may not see this there, but if you go to choose another app and then find your open for program, if you click on open for and just say always, it will always open that within open for. And so when you double click an icon that looks like that, it will take you directly to the actual file in question without having to find it through open for and all that. That'll go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate that. And also for logging into YouTube, taking those few seconds and liking the video, making a comment helps more than you know. And if you're brand new to the channel, feel like subscribing, love to have you over here. Take care guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.